I'm Jacqueline Picton and welcome to Wednesday's Wisdom. What I'm going to talk to you about today is doing things either when it feels really easy or when it feels really difficult and challenging. So as we know, when we jump out of bed in it with lots of energy, we're inspired by our day and what we want to achieve and who we're going to spend our time with, it's really easy. It's easy to get out and exercise, it's easy to go to work, it's easy to get through our to-do list. We have all this momentum and everything's sort of coming together beautifully. And now we love this and you want to work out how you get more and more of these days so you can be on this great momentum and this energy flow where things just sort of fall into place and it's easy. But what I want to talk to you about today is the importance of the day when it feels extremely hard, where you feel like it's the absolute least, where it's the last thing you want to be doing is the thing that you know you should. And it's on this day very important day that you choose to follow through and do the task at hand. Now, to give you an example of what I mean by this and why we want to do it is I remember when I was back rowing and I knew that one of the most important days of training is the day that I was going to feel like at the very least. And I did training day after day and one day that I was faced with that day where I got up very early in the morning, I'd gone down to the river, got my boat out of the boathouse, popped it on the water, got into my boat, pushed off from the bank, took a few strokes, and I thought, I just cannot do this. It's not a matter of I can't be bothered today. It is, I have no energy left with, inside me. I don't even know if I can take a full stroke in my boat. I am exhausted. My energy is completely depleted. I'm not going anywhere. I think I need to turn around and take the boat back in. But then I remembered that this was my day. This was the day that I felt like training the very least. So what was I going to do with this day? It was the most important training day, so I had to just find within, get my energy, and start rowing up to the start line, like I did every other morning. And so I did this. I rowed up to the start, and I turned around and I did my racing pace down and guess what? I went the same speed as I did every other day. Now what can we learn from this? We can learn so much that when we think we've utilized everything within the side of us, we have so much more. That that day that comes that I might have to be at my peak performance when we really want everything to be going right and everything's easy and we've really planned and we're peaking at the right moment if it's in sport or if it's a presentation or if it's a family event, we want to be at our best. But I can remember that day and let's say I get up in the morning and I've had a terrible night's sleep and I'm sick and I'm not well and I still need to perform on that day. I know that there's more in me. When I feel like at the very least, we can look within and draw upon more than we can imagine. So I want you to take this away with you. I did after I experienced that in sport. I remember coming home one day and another day I was completely exhausted. I work really hard. I play life really hard and I try and do my best all the time. And you know, if you've ever come home and you think, I'm just going to put my feet up, I'm going to have dinner and that is it. I'm depleted, I'm exhausted, I'm not doing anything. What happens when you come home and your family members, they need you? Are you just going, I just can't and get all doom and gloom about it and then no energy to help the person when you really need to? No, I had this happen. It was actually very late at night, I finished everything and my mum, I thought that's it. I'm going to be doing it and my mum came in and she goes, oh Jacqueline, can you help me do this and this for tomorrow? And the first thought I had, just like in the boat, oh, I just can't, so there's just nothing I just have to say no. And then I thought, I'm not going to say no, this is really important to her, it's only going to take 30 more minutes, I've got 30 minutes in my time, I, I can get up and pick myself up, I just switch myself back on and I did what I needed to do. So my message to you today is that when things are really easy, it's great and we love it, but when things are really hard, 
want to smash through self-limiting beliefs that we have within ourselves and draw within because we have so much more within us than we utilize. So take that away with you. I hope you like my Wednesday's wisdom. Please click like it if you liked it. Please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. I'm Jacqueline Figden from Gina Life and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you.